Welcome back, everybody. Kirk Dupes, Nexus Bay, Jeffrey, Saran, Raf, Saran. We're going to go through this real quick. Top eight action. Alex Shemansky going to be on the right-hand side of your screen. Azul, good game. Azul GG, Garcia Griego on the left side of your screen. Jeff, real quick, break down the top eight for us. Yeah, top eight right now going from the bracket side here is going to be Jonathan Croxton with Shock Lock versus Arlo Neal, Zoro Garb. Winner of that match played a winner of Andrew Martin, Drampa Garb, and Lance Bradshaw, Pika Rum. Other side of the board, we already got Alex Shemansky, Zoro Garb, Azul, Archie Stoys. Winner of that will play the winner of Andy Gray, Archie Stoys, and Colin Storm and Norman, Pika Rum. Storm and Norman winning his last round to squeeze, squeak in and uh, boot out that uh, boot out Jeff with uh, the Rayquaza GX deck. So n not that making the top eight, but Storm and Norman rallying back from Toronto to put himself yep. together in a good weekend. Uh, resolving some mulligans on the table, but here we have uh, Azul playing Blastoise, the most played deck in this tournament, mm -hmm. and Alex Shemansky bringing back uh, Zorar Garbador, uh, styled kind of... Um, uh, in the round th today in the mirror, mm -hmm. uh, put together a, a decisive 2-0 victory there. Um, what do you think about this matchup, Jeff? Uh, I mean, we've been seeing it all weekend there. Uh, it's definitely an uh, interesting one, how to kind of go back and forth there. Azul, obviously, with that I initial explosiveness with Deluge, um, Archie Stories, that is there, and then Alex Manchi with the Garbo Toxin ability and a lot of different outs there to slow down Azul. Um, I think the big thing here is Azul does have that heavy Pokemon in, in Magikarp Wheeler GX here that could take it over the top because it does have a clean hit chance on a Zork GX versus Alex does not have many clean shot Pokemon to hit, take out uh, Azul's. It's a very good point, Jeff. Something I want to mention, uh, I think the key strategy here for Azul as they get started is to not do whatever Hunter Butler was doing <laughs> in the <that> last <laughs> round. He try edge Articuno, stream favorite in the active spot for Azul. Shemansky, Roblox, Sudo, Wudo, egg coming down. Oh, man. That's been a desperate shame in there. He, his hand must have not been the best there. He's going to bench the execute down there. Uh, Tapu Lele? Stick with the, the hyper rare Tapu Lele right there? Yep. yep. That's what it is. Alex going right into the deck with the Wonder Tag. Azul, got to be thinking. Interesting Shaman, benched an egg. Benched an egg with Articuno active is the one of the big things there. Now, Azul will not be Guzming it up the first turn. We, we do know that. Yep. Uh, Azul has to go for Archies and has to deluge as much as possible before this uh, Garbotoxin Gabador for mm -hmm. Alex Shemansky comes online. Alex, though, just making sure Skyfield was it was a nice hit off Shaman, allowing uh, him to bridge it and put a bunch of Pokemon into play uh, and still have some options for the following turn, just passing with uh, Bench Barrier Mr. Mime in the active. It's going to be really interesting how this kind of like, you know, all unfolds right here because um, if Azul doesn't play a stadium, the Execute does stay on the bench there. Um, otherwise, he plays a Silent Lab, Alex will have the option to bump that Execute away there. So that could be something he might want to hold on to that bench spot there with Articuno in play currently. We see a Trainer's Mirror failed by Azul. Ultra Ball pitching a couple supporters, I believe one of which is Archie's. Azul got to find the path to success, whittling that hand to nothing except for just a way, uh, except for Archie's ace in the hole. Mm -hmm. uh, and needs to get a Blastoise in the discard. Battle Compressor probably would have been nice off that Trainer's Mail. Uh, that's kind of the quick and easy way to, to, to put that puzzle together. You know, he is eyeing down. It looks like a Lamar Shadow uh, let loose ability there. Um, I guess this isn't the most optimal for an Archie Stories play. We do see Snorlax EV GX come down here. And just a let loose, going to disrupt Alex's hand, hopefully getting him into some uh, some of his wonkier uh, cards uh, that he has, the one-ofs. And Azul really hoping that this is the path to success to a turn one Archie's. You know, it gives him a little, you know, Battle Compress the first secret here, maybe Ultra Paul as well. Um, a couple different combinations he has in his deck to pull off this turn one Archie's here. Uh, but we've seen it before in the previous matches here. Let Loose has not been friendly to the Archie's Toys deck this weekend. Let's see if Azul gets the better end of that. Um, Eevee Snorlax, a really good attacker in this matchup, uh, using Dump Truck Press, 120 plus 120 if it's an evolved Pokemon, that cuts right through a Zorark. Yep. Mm. I don't see much going on there. I'm trying to see. Oh, no, nope, computer, computer search. search. What's the other card, though? That's, that's going to be big, though. The, the other card. It Making sure what is in the discard. Computer Search pitching a Water Energy. and Is that a Choice Band? I think that's a Choice Band. Battle Compressor. Battle Compressor. Love, love Compressors. Azul taking a, a quick look at the deck, making sure that Battle Compressor is, in fact, Does he have Burst Secure in hand? Or maybe a clean Archie's? 
going for two waters. You see, the Blastoise also weighs a Blastoise. Maybe the I think the Blastoise on the first Ultra Ball, uh, not a second supporter, but maybe just an old art Blastoise. Okay. Uh, so the edge uh, looking a little bit more like a supporter. But we're going to see Prop Egg and two waters go to the discard, which means I think Azul has it unlocked. Is he, yeah. Uh, Otherwise, all, all that last card w wouldn't have been maintained. You'd just yep. hold on to the energy to attach for turn. Yep. All, all, all eyes point to this is going to be a turn of Archies or a very, you know, uh, another supporter as well uh, for Oz. It could be a Sycamore to uh, discard his hand. We'll see here. Archies. <laughs> just, yep. just the Archies. Uh, so, um, he heck of a... Uh, we just got to notice we've got to we've got to talk a little bit softer here uh, because the headsets are on. Um, the headsets are on, but we're having some issues with the with the noise cancellation there. Okay. So we're just gonna turn it down just a little bit. Um, trainer's mail showing Azul four cards. Taking a quick look, able to kind of get that Blastoise after the let loose. Uh, pretty fortunate, got a good. <laughs> Very fortunate. Able to pull got that Archie, off. Archie's in a computer search. Archie's Archie's in a computer search. Perfect combination to pull that off right there. Uh, let's sit there in a pause moment right now, possibly uh, adjusting the headphones. Yeah, we're working on the headphones right now. Uh, we got the notice on the screen. So um, if they're going to have them keep moving through the action, we're just going to keep it down a little bit till we get the green light that everything is uh, honky-dory, if you will. Sure. <laughs> Grabbing superior energy retrieval off that trainer's mail, uh, as we saw before on that battle compressor Azul selected mm -hmm. um, with the computer search, was to put a couple waters in there, um, maybe eyeing up to... Just go in with Tri-Edge now. You could be doing that. I mean, Mr. Mime is, what, 70 HP as well? So two heads off of Tri-Edge uh, will be able to KO this Mr. Mime. Uh, looks like the headphones are back on, so we're all good to go back yelling and screaming like we were previously, and uh, they won't have any notice of it. Yep. Uh, superior Energy Retrieval, buying back three energy, one discarded off of uh, the computer search. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is enough for Tri-Edge. Onyx coming down, another great attacker in the matchup. That is 70 HP, so going to need two heads here. Two out of three. Here we go. Try edge. Oh, there. let's see. Did we get another heads right here? Oh, There's there it is. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, oh, just, just 60 short. damage. Just Alex short. breathes a sigh of release, I'm sure. Uh, Does he run the Volcanian? Okay, he runs the Volcanian, so I can come and clean up later on possibly there. But we'll see what happens here. It's probably going to be a hard retreat on his Mr. Mind. Bring up the Zorg GX for the KO on... So, wow, he had a pretty good let loose as well. Zorog, Lele, Colrus for 12? Uh, Azul checking the discard like, hey, do I have a Colrus? Can I draw 12? Oh, my gosh. Uh, These let loose are getting the good end of them, both players. I'll tell you what, I've never seen a let loose like that. No. As somebody who's played let loose, I played down Marshadow and said let loose a lot, never have I felt that good after doing it. That's a very confident let loose right there. Alex going to so Stage off two Colrus, let loose. Off Colrus, Alex going to draw eight. 12 cards and already has uh, the Mr. Mime uh, with the ability to hard retreat into mm -hmm. the Zorark. Zorark going to be able to step up and hit this Articuno. Zorark's going to ride us, beat this bird to the ground right now. That's a lot of damage hitting for right now. Eight, nine, in, nine in play, 180. But Snorlax, Deluge is out there. So it looks strong to hit back at him. Did Shemansky trade one too many times? Prop trade. There's the second. And we're all good. Prop egg coming back. Ultra ball egg. When you see this deck in action, you really, really cannot deny its power. Exactly. You know, Azul. There's probably a garble toxic coming down right now. Azul had to let loose, yeah. do a bunch of other stuff to just get an, uh, you know, a, a, to get 60 oh. damage on the board. Oh, this is huge. And uh, we know Alex has a red card in hand as well. I mean, uh, Azul's hand is really low right now already. It's like one or two, car two, three cards it might be. It's hard to tell with the blue hint of the sleeve. But Garbotox in here, Riot is beating, all set up here. I'm Alex is up, field full of cards in his hand right now, and he takes a uh, knockout on the only attacker on Azul's side. Uh, EV Snorlax GX coming up does have that uh, dump, dump truck, truck press, press attack that will be able to one-hit knockout that Zorark. GX if he can get the correct amount of energy on it. He needs to find one of the field blowers here to discard uh, that tool off. Of he had field blower in hand. Ooh. Oh my gosh. And he has a Versus Seeker. Versus Seeker. What are we getting here? Versus Seeker. What, what is he? What was his support, additional support? Is that Cynthia? Or Tate and Liza maybe? 
it's hard to see there off that gl off the glare, uh, not the glare, but the screen cut off that of the was, supporter. That's definitely a Tate and Liza, uh, Jeff. So Tate and Liza, uh, gonna allow has two modes. Mm -hmm. Switch it essentially has switch stapled onto it and Shauna stapled onto it. Yeah. Your, your choice. Shauna being shuffle your hand into your deck, draw five cards, which is the mode that Azul has selected here. His preferred attacker already in the active. Let's see if he gets the energy here. Also needs uh, superior energy retrieval to do the dump truck press. Needs four energy on the Snorlax. Just needed to hit one in a superior. Here it Order comes. Pad. Here it comes. Okay. It's been heavy today. Pad. There it we hits. go. It's a two. That's a two, which means Azul will get to search his deck for an item card, put it into his hand. Um, and you'd like to think that Azul has a way to get to four energy on that Snorlax. We know for sure three is in a discard pile off of the Articuno. Um, I do not see any energy in hand, so he needs a combination of either Compressor in his hand or in a deck or, or a Superior Energy Retrieval in his hand or in a deck. Superior coming. Oh, no. Swapping around real quick on us. I thought uh, I thought Azul uh, had, had come to a conclusion on what card to choose off the order pad. Shuffled it back around. Not too sure. In the top cut, the players do get 75 minutes. Uh, so the clock a little less stressful onto uh, onto the players. So we got to make sure you're making the correct plays. Order pad, selecting battle compressor. Uh, Azul is in the deck, and while he makes that selection real quick, we've got a uh, we've got an update for you. Arlo Neal uh, taking game one versus Shot Clock. Zorak Garbador getting it done. Garbador shutting down the one deck that uh, could probably take out the majority of the rest of the decks in this field right now. Uh, the game one. Uh, order pad for battle compressor. Battle compressor for energy. Energy, um, excuse me, Energy, Egg, and I believe a Kingdra GX. We do see here a Wonder Tag here, trying to get that ability in before Alex shuts it back down with Garbo Toxin, grabbing a Sycamore, looking to hopefully grab a little bit more energy for that next turn to do that dump truck press. I'm hoping uh, one of the two cards that we don't see from Azul is um, a Superior Energy Retrieval to really keep up... Uh, Keep up with Alex in this game. Get those four energy back. It looks like oh, it is. Oh, he has it. And the prop egg. A prop egg was discarded, so superior energy retrieval. Off screen right now, but I can't imagine that it would be anything else. Uh, by the way, Azul has moved those four energy in. And dump, truck, press, let's go. Deluge going to take... Uh, Deluge going to kit that EV Snorlax up to take a big knockout on a Zorark GX. Two more prizes to Azul and has a draw supporter for next turn, mm -hmm. just in case that Garbotoxin uh, ability becomes live again. Well done, well done, well played there. Uh, good note there on the Garbotoxin effect right as well. We're going to see a Tapu Lele coming to the active spot here. Not a, not a bad attacker here to do some easy damage on a Snorlax because it's based off of energy between both attackers here. Red card coming in hot. Going to shuffle Azul's hand to his deck, draw red cards. It's a, it's a solo it's a solo let loose in the form of an item card. Um, could be seen a DC come down as Lele here to attack. Um, sorry, attack Storlax here for 120 damage. 120 damage is going to be a good amount of damage, obviously, to get on that tag team. Mm -hmm. uh, Megaton Friends GX for Azul can KO this Lele right back. As we know, Dump Truck Press base 120 mm -hmm. and only does the 120 more if... It's an evolved Pokemon. Mm -hmm. So if this Lele stays in the active, uh, Megatron Friends GX, 210 damage uh, would be the way to KO this Lele. Ta oh. Klefki coming down with a Wonderlock ability. Floatstone on the Tapu Lele. He still has a very large hand here after that Cold Rush from the previous turn. We see a Battle Compressor coming to the top right now. He doesn't get to find another Zork out. Oh, well, he's uh, opts to... Battle but Compressor. He best to Klefki, so you can't get another Zork out right now. Battle Compressor pitching an N and a Zorark GX. Going to find one more card that might not have value in this moment. Says, nope, you need everything else. Shuffle it up. Cut me, sir. Let's keep this game progressing. Good. Just to note that Alex could free up that bench space by activating the Wonderlock ability and putting it directly on the uh, Garbodor. One thing he's going to have to look into doing here is looking at an alternative attacker to go against the Snorlax right now. Um, so I'm not sure what the item count is currently on Azul's side. I know he's went through a lot of cards here, but uh, Trubbish should probably should come down here soon um, because trying to promote Zork on this Waylord here won't do enough damage at all. We're going to have to continue uh, trash on his Garbodor to try to take the, take the attack and KO here. Seems as if as they're shuffling up, 
Andrew Martin takes a very close game one uh, versus Lance Bradshaw to go up one to nothing there in that matchup. Schmansky drawn a uh, bunch of cards off that chorus. Ditto Prism did also come down as well, so that could turn into a Trash Lance Guard Builder or um, either Zorg, the Zorg GX, or the Zorg BKT with that Mind Jack attack. Take a look. Uh, take a look at this matchup right here, Jeff. Uh, if Azul flipped another heads, this game would practically be over mm -hmm. because he would have taken two prizes off the Mr. Mime, two prizes off the Zorg GX, and now you're just ready to Megaton Friends. Uh, um, four more KO. Yeah, for, for the, another the, two the, prizes the anywhere. Year, yep. It's interesting enough here. So it does 120. That's going to put him down to, what, 150 HP, I'm pretty sure, with 270 on the EV Snorlax. So 150 left there. Um, if he does opt in to do the uh, Megaton Friends attack on the Tapu Lele there, Zora can return KO, taking three prizes. Um, but we do see Onyx there as well. So there could be a situation where Alex can go end the two, um, Garble Toxin as well as taking out that prize right there. So Onyx will really have the chance to retaliate back with that land crush attack. Azul with abilities locked off because of the Wonder Lock going onto Garble mm -hmm. Toxin Garbodor. So Azul trying to f uh, navigate this current situation here. Really needs to try and get more energy on the board to have a follow up attacker. Um, can't imagine that Azul doesn't take a KO right here uh, using EV Snorlax GX, the powerful tag team, and one of the first ones that were spoiled to us uh, mm -hmm. to get us hype about tag teams in general. Volcanian Prism coming to the hand after that Ultra Ball. One interesting thing that Azul can do here is because that Clef Key is going to pop off the Garbatox in the next turn, um, he can retreat the Snorlax and, and d bring it to the discard file to promote something else. And if he was a bench on the Pokemon, Discarding that Clefki there is going to activate Roadblock, and he could take off that Snorlax to the discard pile, so it avoids Alex taking three prizes from them. Very, very, very well said, and uh, Alex certainly eyeing down to take the knockout on the Snorlax GX. However, um, you know, Azul with that Snorlax on the bench just has to consider, okay, I saved myself three prizes, but mm -hmm. where do I go from here? Yep. The Archie's the king route. <laughs> Sometimes you just get it. Remember when I was talking about uh, against Hunter Butler? Yeah. Uh, in Hunter Butler's match about double Archie's. Rarely do you see it, but uh, Azul doing it here. And manually attach. Going to take a look. Ooh, that egg is on board. And I think the jet stream attack does 30. So that that's a route. And the Mr. Mime. Yeah. That, that could be a way to, to get it done. Yep, GX attack there. Maelstrom GX. I believe it does, uh, what, 40 to each Pokemon to play? Or how's it? Hy Hydro Pump, excuse me. I was uh, I was thinking of res Reverse he Thrust the, doing 30. He did the Maelstrom GX attack. Uh, this attack does 40 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. Well scouted, Azul Garcia Griego, second Archie's coming through. And that's the play we're just talking about there. The Snorlax getting discarded as well. Um, as it looks like Lele's going to come to the discard power. And Pari Mar Shadow. Azul the Master. Um, <laughs> didn't get to pull up uh, Kingdra GX too fast. Every attack on Kingdra GX, base attack of one water. Hydro Pump in this case, one colorless, but for the effect of this deck, one yep, water. Yeah, one water. Um, and look at those 40 damage. Look at that 40 damage. That egg being on the bench for Alex for turn one. That mm -hmm. Mr. Mime getting chipped in by the Articuno. Azul played to the to the Lancon. Got Kingdra GX on the bench and was able to Maelstrom GX. 40 damage anywhere. Rescue Stretcher pitching those Pokemon back into the deck. Tapu Lele, 40 damage on it. And just um, a DCE in the active. We almost kind of called that play earlier, said we did it with Volcanian spreading the dead uh, damage there. But Kingdra has the spread attack, too, taken out a little bit more effectively there, doing 40 instead of the 20 that Volcanian does, um, and applying a lot of pressure to each Pokemon on his board. And now, or Corio looks like to be on the board as well, right under Sudowoodo and the Garbodor. Interesting to note, because Alex uh, has f uh, a Shaman on board, another attachment to Kingdra GX is 110 damage. 
It's 10 plus, 2 water energy. Azul uh, doesn't need abilities for too, too long, really choosing his spots correctly. And Alex going to try and end Azul to one, a completely dead card, and use that uh, the fact that he's going to have so many more resources to mm -hmm. try and pull back into this game. Big play here also could be get that Garbo Toxin back alive. You do see a douse machine. So Flowstone can come back if you want to if you want to dig for that card there off of the dousing machine to apply the Garbo Toxin here and just attack away with Zorark. I don't know if this means anything, but Azul just checked his uh, his discard, went through, and pulled uh, some three water energy to the front. As Alex keeps rocking and rolling through the deck, using Ultra Ball to grab the Klefki, another way to get that uh, Garbo Garbotoxin active. Take uh, a brief second here while they're shuffling. Uh, Andy Gray took game one against Colin Storm and Norman here. Uh, Arch Stories versus Pikaram. Klefki coming down again with the Wonderlock ability, allowing it to be attached as a tool and then discarded at the start of your next turn. So there's that lock there, end of one with the lock here. And I think what you are no no uh, noting before, looking at that discard pile, he may have the Verse Seeker in hand. Um, King Jor GX, 230 HP, a little bit hard for Zork to get to. Uh, but right now with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Pokemon, we're going to hit for uh, 140. There it is. Yep. Seven Pokemon is 140. What card is in Azul's hand? Another thing, another thing to note, <laughs> Azul can, can um, uh, get an attachment on, can, I, can uh, excuse me, reverse thrust and get this Kingdra back on the bench to protect it and maybe work to a Guzma play. Um, just one prize to take, and there are some easy prizes on Alex's side of the board. That end to one looks like it's stuck for now. Mm -hmm. um, and Azul just going to go through, ask about all of Alex's available options. How many cards in the discard? How many cards in your hand? Um, and then maybe a water attachment going to jump onto I Onyx? Start, might start trying to set up this Onyx here to put that pressure there. But I do think you're right, though, in the fact that Kingdra may be doing this reverse thrust play into probably the Volcanium Prism Star. Um, a nice 90 attacker here, but looks like it might be reversed here. He might be pivoting into the Onyx. Pivoting into the Onyx. Certainly a one-prizer. Um, mm -hmm. Depending on how much time Azul believes he has, uh, maybe going into Waylord. And reverse thrust, going to hit for 30, and going to throw the Onyx into the active. Klefki should be getting discarded now. There it goes. And Dowsy Machine in hand. Guzma as well. So we could be seeing a KO on this Kingdra. Probably Rescue Stretcher, trade. he could bring back the Klefki. So Alex really seeing it all off of this, uh, off of that trade, which is really nice. Going to pull up the only threat on Azul's side of the board. Yep. This, this Zorark going to be able to take this knockout whenever Alex decides to announce Riotus beating. But first, Rescue Stretcher, Klefki, Wonderlock, Garbotoxin's live knockout. Alex going to be going down to three prizes now uh, to Azul's one. One water energy on the Whale Lord. Azul needs a big top deck here. Onyx going to jump into the active. Onyx with that land crush attack. Four colorless. 120 against uh, the Fighting Week Zorark GX 240. That's a knockout. However, Deluge not active right now. Currently locked out because of the little jangly keys that <laughs> Carbador is taking with it. Boo Boo Keys doing his power right now. The end of one hitting Azul hard right now. Clef Key going back to the discard pile. Promote Onyx pass. Azul just crossing us. Please just miss the Garbotoxin lock one turn so I can have a, a chance to, to jump into this game. You know, it, it, I'm not sure if the flow still in a discard pile, but he could uh, just as easily, uh, Alex, that is, uh, Dox Machine for the rest of Stretcher, rest of Stretcher back to Clef Key again, and then hope he draws to the next float stone in his deck. That's, you know, given that his other float stone isn't already discarded. Alex shuffling through, taking a look at the discard. Azul double checking his discard as well. Dowsing Machine, double prop. Rest of Stretcher, Clef Key. Yep. 
So Azul found a way to crawl into this game uh, and, and put himself miles ahead of Shemansky by four prizes. And now here we are, and Shemansky just kind of seems to be cruising right along. Here comes another Q's on play here. He's going to go out the Wrath of the Whale Lord and start applying pressure there. Um, maybe the, maybe this is when you just uh, knock out the Blastoise and completely Blastoise and completely the eliminate down. the the whole game. Alex says, "Nope, I want to end this game ASAP. I'll hit into the the Chunk Boy right now." So 170 now with the choice spin added on there. Trying to get the game over with a little bit sooner than later. Yep. Uh, I do like your idea of the Blastoise play, though. That, especially with how low hand size Azul has right now. I don't see him being able to get the, the Blastoise back out. Um, but I do like the play of putting the pressure on right now as well. So we're taking a look at the hand. Thumbs some energies to the top. Maybe has superior. Maybe has not much of anything. Azul considering the options. Down to 50 minutes. Just under 51 minutes in the clock. So... Um, Azul scoops it up, and I think that's the right play there. Yep. Um, as we mentioned before, the round is a little bit longer, uh, mm -hmm. but it's not infinitely long. Yep. Like, you still have to be uh, clock conscious when you're making the decisions. Azul found a way, found a gap. Archie's into the Kingdra GX. Mm -hmm. uh, get a water attachment. Maelstrom GX to take uh, two prizes there, and just one prize left. That's the big thing there is, like, while Azul did get miles ahead in that matchup as well, Garbotoxin and um, very, very powerful combination there. We saw a similar route to that before um, with Togar, when it, or not Togar, with uh, the Zork, the Zork Garbodor deck there that had the Toad Tech, adding low, quaking punch, just locking component out with the low hand size, pseudo effect here with no abilities, and Deluge Blastoise needs that ability to really, you know, take it, take advantage of the game at hand. That's why Azul's first couple turns in the game were absolutely critical. Um, before those abilities get turned off, get as many of those energies as you can on board. Mm -hmm. Would love to see, uh, you know, a Waylord do the uh, Towering Splash mm -hmm. GX, you know, with the, the seven energies yep. uh, that it takes and just ping through uh, Alex's setup. Um, are uh, Azul going to look to uh, to get this put together a little bit easier this turn? Going to try not to rely on the Let Loose to give him four great yep. cards. I mean, Let Loose really boosted everybody on both sides of the party. Yep. <laughs> and uh, Alex, well navigated, feels very comfortable with his deck, mm -hmm. likes his matchups across the board, expected Blastoise, I guarantee you. This isn't the first time he's played it. Yep. Um, and uh, has just been putting in work with the Klefkies. Just uh, can you just a pile of trash jangling some keys. <laughs> just do it. I mean, just getting it done for the kids. Alex had to go through a whole field of Archie's toys. You know that there, uh, pretty much all DDG was playing Archie's toys, and as well, a, a lot of players in the field in general. So you you know he's played his matchup plenty of times, probably either between day one and day two. Knows how to navigate it. And Garbotoxin is crucial in that matchup. We saw him come back from five to one. Yep. To win that game there. And so. and. You can argue after uh, the end to one and Azul missed the turn. Mm -hmm. You can argue that Azul was just out of the game. Yep. You can make that. You can comfortably make that argument. He would have seriously needed a very powerful top deck at that moment there in the form of like a Sycamore or anything there to get to the field blower. Whatever it might have took there, but he needed it all. Correction, it, he actually had two turns. He needed either a Guzma on the reverse thrust turn. Mm-hmm. Or, True. Or a yep. Guzma on the following turn after he reverse thrusted. Arlo wins... To advance to top four, uh, taking down Shocklock, which was leading the pace in this tournament the whole time. And Andrew Martin making it to top four uh, with uh, 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 Sigalif. Trample Garb, yep, Sigalif, Trample Garb. GX. I keep saying GF. <laughs> I'm married. No girlfriends <laughs> out here. Oh, Alex leading his one copy of Wob against Azul. So even if Azul what? gets to go off here, a deluge is still not going to be live. And I would be very remiss if Alex just doesn't leave that Wobbuffet in the active. Oh, he's going to keep it there the whole time. Alex is chilling with Wob taking the lead of the party right now. He is <laughs> He's going to just slowly set up there and let Wobbuffet do, his, do that by barricade. Zool, uh, Eevee, Snorlax uh, tag team in the in the active battle compressor gonna pitch uh, Archie's or excuse me, yeah, Blastoise, Blastoise, Blastoise Prop Egg, Egg and Kingdra Kingdra. GX. Yep. This could be interesting enough here because I mean Azul could still probably get the Archies off. Yeah, I mean, I think Azul still has to work towards that goal. Um, I think Alex starting his one copy of Wob is just 
just miserable variance for Azul and terrific variance for Alex. As I mentioned, Alex will be able to wonder tag into Bridget and get that setup going. Order pad. I think that's the tails. 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 Battle compressor number two. Great card to have in these opening turns in the Blastoise deck. Couple water energy. Looks like Tate and Liza's also been to the front there. Uh, but I just did three water energies. Uh, computer, computer search, search in, in hand, too. Azul, high, very high uh, caliber player. With computer search, going to be able to, to lock this one in uh, for a turn one Archies. Turn one Archies is inevitable here. It's just uh, trying to get to the point of, you know, what does it do after to, you know, work around this by barricade right now. With Alex, nothing on bench there. There's no Guzman plays. There's no escape rope to, uh, actions that can, you know, take this ability down. Um, so as, as it stands right now, let's do a, na a natural knockout on this, on this Wabba Foot. Battle Compressor, uh, number three, three for turn one. Let's see, Prop Egg, Water, I'm and... I'm curious if he's going to put one of his Guzmas into is this that card. Promo Guzma? Yep, there it is. Uh, right not there. Promo G Guzma, excuse I me. Uh, just uh, OG Art Guzma. He beat me right to it there. I was about to say, he might want to put a Guzma in a discard pile to get around that by barricade and have that instantly to his access here through the form of our Seeker. Um, but he beat me to the punch. <laughs> Azul, uh, Tapu Lele, Wonder Tag. I'm going to take, I'm going to give you one guess uh, which supporter he grabbed. Archie. Archie's ace in the hole. So we're going to see that Blastoise coming back. Azul will be drawing five. However, by barricade, gonna keep Azul from going all in. I do I do like how Azul managed to get uh, four, uh, three to four water energy in the mm -hmm. discard uh, to be able to use uh, superior energy retrieval to maximum value. Is that his fourth battle compressor? It is his fourth battle compressor. He's gonna be able to do all four in the first turn of the game. Really get that junk out of the deck that you don't want. Yeah, and actually, this going to assist them more with that late game end that kind of hit them in game one as well. Then he has many of the you know unreliable cards, I guess you could say, or the, the not useful for this matchup. But he's opting to take it away with Ultra Ball instead. Ultra Ball, pitching battle compressor, and I believe it's an order pad go. and a let loose. Here we go. Gonna try and say, Alex. I hope you get four bad ones, kid. Here we go. Live or die by the let loose. What is going to happen here? We saw a favorite of both players during game one. Let's see how it happens here. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. I would say Azul would feel phenomenal in this position had Alex started any other Pokemon in his deck. Yep. Any, any, exactly. Any other Pokemon outside of this one Wobbuffet that he has in here. Wobbuffet putting in work. Put in a lot of work uh, for, I believe, it was Andrew Martin playing the mm -hmm. Zora Garbodor deck. Started that a couple games. Um, and that was just crucial against Pikaram. You know, just, just hindering just enough. We don't get to see a set of float stone. I couldn't see what else Alex had in his hand. Uh, he kind of went through it pretty quick there. Azul, superior energy retrieval. Going to grab all four waters out of this car pile. <laughs> and attach it. Uh, that was Azul's first turn. I was going to say, can yep. you use cheer up and get another energy down? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that, was, Azul, that turn was just incredibly long. And just a pass using cheer up again. Yep. And now Alex says, oh, okay. Oh, no. There's nothing in his hand at all. He has a flow stone to get rid of the Wabata active there. All right. Now Azul needs to go in. Everything you got, you have to go in here. Yep. Get everything down the board. We have Field Blower in his hand right now. Um, I can't tell what other cards there are. Uh, Shaman. Yep. Now he gets to set up. Good draw one. four cards. T-Mail. Ultra Ball. Another Trans Mail. Just wants to find... Ways let to loose go. doing his job this game here in game two, taking Alex right out of the game right now. Alex does have a Dowsing Superior Machine energy in hand, retrieval. so I do like that he promoted the execute there, maybe get some added effort out of the propagate, but with Wob coming active, it's going to be tough to do that there. This is where uh, having the A-spec of Dowsing Machine over computer search is just yep. kind of buckling because Dowsing Machine, phenomenal as the game progresses. Computer mm -hmm. search, phenomenal at the start of the game through the mid-tier of the game. Yep. Obviously, both cards good historically yeah, period there. Uh, but they both leverage different advantages another archies is, is, number two? is azul gonna oh, pull up the kingdra could build a kingdra here he does have it he did grab it off his email here um has another ultra ball in hand to lower the hand size as well <laughs> is he gonna he is styling this game azul said oh i heard you i heard you said people don't double archies per game <laughs> i'm gonna do it twice <laughs> he's, he's like i'm Come gonna try to run me, it back twice 
is another superior. He's often another smart move. None of those cards really useful for him right now. That deck is super thin. Alex is Azul's daring Alex to end him. <laughs> He's playing a good Oz this game. Azul, uh, or excuse me, Alex would have loved to be able to keep that Wob in the active, but as you mentioned, trying to put good work in Field with the blower. egg. Kingdra coming in for five. Just give me some water so I can get this Kingdra powered Two up. Two water too. in there here right now. Is that a Professor's letter? It's a professor's letter. That's a very good looking professor's letter. Gonna grab two waters. I like that art. Let, let, let's find uh, let's find uh, those waters a uh, home on Kingdra. Kingdra gonna be setting up for that hydro pump attack or Maelstrom GX whenever Alex decides to bench some Pokemon. Um, <laughs> Azul looking completely different than last game right now. Yeah, it's ama it's amazing that you, and then all this. Well, I guess he looks the same. Alex looks completely different <laughs> yeah, than yeah. last game. Um. Azul not letting uh, the Wob frazzle him. Uh, and you saw how quickly his turn went by when Alex just drew and passed. Uh, yep. Azul was like, well, green light. Here we go. Cheer up. <laughs> Get another <laughs> energy attach attachment. And now Dump Truck Press is there. Um, Megaton Friends is there. Yep. And, of course, Cheer Up's there, too. Yep. Uh, I like the Deluge now. And I think Azul's GX marker is still flipped over from the previous game. So I was just looking at that just now. Uh, uh, it is not. He's uh, using a room key. So when he flips it over, you'll see the code, the, the bar. Ah. So um, <laughs> Alex saying, I want my full 40 minutes yep. uh, to get through a third game. Um, after that, you know, after after how insane everybody's cards were off of Let Loose yep. the first time, or the, in the first game. Yep. Completely different story for Alex, and uh, he has to just say, "Well, let's try to not have that happen again." He didn't hit anything at all. It was, it was. There's was nothing going on there. No, nothing to start to fire at all. Nothing. It was just a really dead hand there. He had a field blower and a float stone. That's uh, what do you do? Alex gonna hope to draw, uh, hope to start the Wobbuffet by mm -hmm. barricade again, and um, do a little bit better on the back end behind it. And that's unfortunate. There, you get the best starter arguably in your deck for this matchup. Not even arguably, the best starter for your deck in this matchup here. And don't even get to take advantage of that because that let loose completely just came in and took your whole deck apart. Said, you know what? I'm gonna give you these four cards. Yeah, Wobbuffet steps up and he goes, "All right, just set up the team behind me. I've got this. I'm gonna yep. lock it down for a bit, and then you all can come in and do the hard work." Uh, Wobbuffet showed up to, to the field to play <laughs> with no friends, nobody there to help <laughs> he's him. Like, he's like uh, well, it's a happy Gilmore on, on the front nine, and then got hit with the water. Nothing else going on, just yeah. a bunch of water everywhere. <laughs> these, these players are going <laughs> to draw seven cards. Um, Azul just wants to deluge, turn one, Archie's ace in the hole, Blastoise deluge, and get preferably 11 energy on board. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, if you ask Azul, I'm sure he would say as many as possible. The whole deck. Um, Just on the floor. Three the field. is maybe a little bit more than reasonable, um, but not unrealistic. And I think three is a good spot to be uh, if you're Azul. Just get three energy on. On an Eevee, on an Something. Articuno, on a, on a, even on a Waylord. Yep. Just get, get the energy out there. You want to spread the love there. And but he did a, he did a really good job thinning his deck in game two, because um, I'm sure that if Alex was to come back in that game there and N was to come into a relevance with the Garbage Toxin again, I'm sure he'll have enough cards to be able to go through it. But here we are, starting game three. Alex did have a mulligan, handshake between competitors. Wob, Wob again. Thing. Wob EV starts. What? Mirror image of game two. Uh, Alex gonna get the green light to go first. Wonder tag. Here we go. Monster Wonder Getty tag coming out. Bridget, if there's a follow-up supporter in hand, or maybe even just a Zorark GX to evolve into. Yep. Um, Alex is going to pull up a couple Zoruas, uh, a Trubbish, and another Zorua. Yep. Not a lot of concern for the s for uh, for knockouts, obviously, in the in the first couple turns here. So, uh, Alex is going to make sure his draw Pokemon are set up and get to the cards he needs to the mid and late game, uh, the Garbotoxin, Garbodor, for example, and be able to control that with Klefki. Falcon Press coming out as well. I think he has also a Rotoblock Sudowoodo in his hand uh, to go with that um, f uh, play right now with the Skyfield 2 to go with it. Battle Compressor pitching both eggs first, making sure Alex can get max mileage out of those before abilities get locked out. Yeah, this Battle Compressor is like the, it's the only copy he plays in here, and it's strictly to get the propagation eggs in there and does one of supporters that he has, whether it be the end, the Guzma, the Bridget, just to kind of maximize his chances for that turn one option. 
Alex Shemansky starting Wobbuffet both of these games in top eight kind of reminds me when Chris Shemansky was playing Metagross and kept starting his lone Alolan Vulpix <laughs> and is just like the best starter by far uh, for him in that deck. Professor's Letter uh, off the cuff, going to grab two Water Energy for Azul. That's where he's going to start his turn and hoping to work this down, as we mentioned before, to zero cards except Archie's Ace in the Hole. Or should I say Archie's Ace in the Hole and no other cards. <laughs> no other cards, yep. We're going to get a good glance at the rest of his hand right now to see if he, if he can pull off the turn one Archies here. And, you know, one indicator of that would have been also if he grabbed one to versus two energy to see if he could have leveraged, uh, you know, different Ultra Balls, for computer searches there, so he's not overloading his hand for the Archies. Um, but we'll see here what all he has. Very thorough shuffle there for Azul Good Game. Azul GG's. Water energy and just a cheer up. Ooh. Oh, oh, Alex has got to be feeling. Oh. Look, Alex, Alex, like, like straighten oh, up the GX marker. Go. I'm going to cruise and bruise as fast as I can. That is a gold Pokemon communication. Um, and then Tapu Lele for Wonder Tag. Tapu Lele for Wonder Tag. That's Juniper. Yep. Play some cards down, pitch the grip, get seven more, maybe get a Sky Field, try to build up the board. And Here's just the tough thing, too, in. is that um, – does he, with, with uh, what Azul just did here, does he just go in and start attacking with Zork here, or does he wait a few more turns to go in here? I think if uh, Alex does pull off getting a Garbotoxin set up here with the Clef Key in mind, not the close of the Clef Key, I think he does start going in here with a Zork GX. Uh, Azul always finds a way to keep himself in the game, so certainly don't want to count him out. Um, Juniper going to come down after a uh, pseudo Wudo of Roadblock hits the bench, which will limit Azul to four spots on his bench. Skyfield, DCE, hard retreat mm -hmm. into Zorua. Zorar GX got to be coming. Here we go. Double Able prop egg. Now. Ultra ball of propped eggs for the Zorark GX. Going to trade them to try to get the other Zorark to the party here. Maybe find that cleft key as well. Alex with a really good looking deck, a lot of lot of a lot of full arts, a lot of gold cards. Yeah, it's a lot of good stuff going on there, man. Top cut, teammate, right? Team right there. The boss, Mama Shemansky, making yeah, sure man. Alex's decks are kitted out with the best looking <laughs> cards. Here we go, propagate, draw Trade two one. cards, DCE, DCE. mind jack, Zorark. No, there's no Zorua. Zorua. The Ditto, Ditto Prism, Prism, but no Garbotoxin. No Garbotoxin. So Azul right now um, can <laughs> go off without that Wob active if he has the Ultra Ball for some Shaman shenanigans. Um, is I, Alex is really hoping for that for that Garbotoxin lock. Uh, yeah, that would have that would have just accelerated him way past uh, Azul here. But now the door remains open. Field blower. Okay. Tough to burn this early mm -hmm. uh, because Azul does not have a way to get it back, and he has to know that Garbotoxin is coming. However, if Azul doesn't get something going here, the game's pretty much over anyways, so mm -hmm. you can't just wait forever. I do see a Shaman in Azul's hand. Water Energy going to the active here. Does he have like an Ultra Ball or Computer Search or anything to kind of thin down his hand? We're just going to see an easy Shaman for two or three cards. He might, he might have to bench the egg just to get his hand size down to be able to draw more with Shaman. We did see that with Alex in game one. Alex did the same play to draw that one additional card. It one. could make the difference. Trainer's Mail, Onyx. Onyx. It does make the difference there. This Trainer's Mail gets this Battle Compressor. He might be able to get there. Three, four. I didn't see the first two. I don't think it's a Battle Compressor. I don't think it's an Ultra Ball either. No. <sighs> Uh, the second field blower? Second field blower. Mm. Doesn't want to have to use that too, too and early. And I don't think he, can, he can't retreat the Snorlax. Snorlax is heavy. Eevee, with Eevee added on, it goes up to four retreat cows. Eevee, 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 I don't even think factors in <laughs> to the to the weight of that retreat cost. He's, he's like the half star right there, right? Yeah, 4.5 retreat on, uh, <laughs> on Eevee Snorlax. Uh, double attached. Double that, attached. That's a double attached. Double attached. Double attached right there. He already attached to active with the Snorlax. That is a double attached. Or unless he attached it with Cheer Up, which is what I think because okay. Alex Im immediately okay. went to his turn. Okay. So it was attached with Cheer Up. Okay. We are good to go. We are good to go. Let's 
Looks like Zor uh, DC coming out of Zoru right now. Uh, Mind Jack uh, can hit for 100 right now. Uh, another way to KO to Snor EV Snorlax without Zorark GX in the active spot. I think you just want to leave out Zorark GX in the active spot. I'm just, I'm just, I have all the interest in the world to just punch through the only threat that Zorark GX actually cares about, um, which is that EV Snorlax. Mm -hmm. And then, and then uh, Alex is going to, okay, like, wh what do you do now? Yep. I'm going to take three prizes. I don't even have Garbotoxin live. You have a Shaman in the active. Mm -hmm. And now Azul has to put in a ton Damn, of Damn, one work. card late, the Battle Compressor. I believe Azul does have the, Azul does have the Verse Seeker in hand. Um, but I don't think he has any other cards to really narrow down for the Archies here. He may have to settle for a Battle Compressor for like a Sycamore and uh, some Water There's energy. not even any targets for the Field Blower he took last turn. He can't even get that yeah. out of his hand. Battle Compressor coming down. Deluge Blastoise. Archies, I'm sure. Tate and Liza. Tate and Liza. Yep, he wants to keep the Field Blower, so Tate and Liza is going to be his best option. Azul taking a look at the hand. St this just in. Storm and Norman just took four prizes against Andy, uh, making a comeback here, trying to win himself a series. Because I believe Andy did win game one. Superior energy retrieval. Going to be played to get... Are all those waters coming back? Because they're going to be shuffled in, I believe, with Tate and Liza here. Mm -hmm. Just attach. <laughs> Sky return into the egg. Like Azul's like, yep, just how I drew it up. <laughs> and this just in. Andy Gray won anyways. So Storm and Norman downgraded from a Category 5 to a Category 1 in quick fashion. <laughs> uh, Andy Gray going to top four, which I believe – didn't we announce that before? No, not yet. No, we, uh, we announced uh, Arlo and Andrew. Arlo and Andrew, that's So it. we're still waiting on huh, the match we're watching. Which is good. That's just more uh, more information for the folks at home. Tate and Liza for five. Shuffle in, draw five. I hope he has another like like bench <laughs> Pokemon here <laughs> on uh, Azul's side right now, because uh, it, Sky turning into an execute is not the best feeling right now. No, and um, you have to put another Pokemon down because that Execute's going to get knocked out. Super easy. It is to note, the way Andy recovered from the, that four-prize turn from Storm and Norman was Archie's for Kingdra, Order Pad Flip Heads, get Superior Energy Retrieval, Double Propagate, four Energy on Kingdra, taking a big knockout. Max Style Points right there, flexing hard, Hydro Pump taking that win. For Andy Gray moving on top four. Well, Battle Compressor grabbing the other prop egg. So Azul can at least sky return into prop egg mm -hmm. and bench another prop egg. Yep. Which may be uh, just the biggest bummer if you're playing Archie's. Uh, that none of your uh, water Pokemon are out on the field. You're using colorless Shaman and eggs that are meant to be stepped on uh, and recycled and reused with every item in your deck. Now in, active, in the active. Yep, uh, I'm hoping that he has another like, another out in his hand right now. He looks like he's changing his mind for the water for the Kingdra GX here, possibly looking to um, Archie's that the following turn. Um, but luckily enough, Alex does not have Garbotoxin set up yet. So with that Ultra Ball in hand, as well as the Shaman coming back to the hand, he could have an option here to pull that off. Two more water energy. Azul, not a fan of having all his energies the same. Got a lot of different uh, water energy mojo going on through there. Ultra Ball for Tapu Lele. Going to use uh, Wonder Tag while that option is on the table. He already played Tate and Liza here. So the Archies here is for the hope that his top deck next turn uh, is going to be played immediately so he can Archies. Just going to go for the, uh, the unpowered up Archies. Mm-hmm. Just going to go with the fingers crossed, Archies. Oh, he has another card in hand, and plus the Shaman for Sky Return. Okay, Waylord. Okay. I still think you put up the prop egg here. Oh, he does retreats. Okay. Not worth the 30 damage, and doesn't want Shaman down to draw cards or anything. Yep, Keep it okay. on the bench. Yep. Maintain your energy. Um, because, obviously, Shaman would come back, but it also put those two waters two in waters there. Two waters back in the hand. So, yep. 
Azul's scoped it out. Good idea. Just a hard retreat. Get the egg up there, and hopefully nothing too bad happens mm -hmm. uh, more than it already has. Or Corio coming down here, putting Alex's bench size to six. Prop egg for the first trade. Psychic energy, Mr. Mime bench barrier. Like energy to the diddle here. This could be turning into a trash or lance garboder. Flowstone in hand as well, I think is what we saw. So you might be able to put this um, Garbotox into play right now. And good timing there. And the Guzma, Guzma play. Oh man, Azul set himself for the for the Archie's next turn. One prize left, or Corio on bench. Uh, a couple Pokemon in Azul's discard for sure. Another Brattle Compressor oh, off the that top. So. And that egg is right there, just <laughs> looking to get sniped on by the supernatural dance. Battle Compressor going to look for something. So we know what Archie's going to happen here. Uh, the problem is he needs to figure out. He has to thin enough cards here to hit the, one of those two field blowers here. So that way he could turn on the, the engine here. And probably Towering Splash GX for, to take the KOs here to get that Oracorio out of play. And Towering Splash would actually take out six prizes. Uh, let's see. They're all or, under 100 or, damage. Oracorio, yes. Zorua, yes. Pseudo Wudo. Uh, Pseudo Wudo, 90. 90. Yeah. Ditto. Ditto Prism, yep. Uh, Garbotox and Garbodor's 100. And uh, Mind Zorax. Jack Zorax, 100. 100. Yep. So if he can somehow hit that field blower <laughs> and get all the energy there, <laughs> we can see a towering splash for game. <laughs> this has to be the best Archie's of all time. Absolutely. If this actually happens here, the mic's coming down. I'm walking out there. I'm shaking his hand before he comes to the booth. I'm, I'm going to start a GoFundMe for Alex Shemansky if that <laughs> happens. Because <laughs> that would be a ridiculous. Battle Compressor is still trying to work through what uh, Azul's going to uh, chuck to the discard. Sees that he needs to hit maybe two superior energy retrievals. Yep. Field blower. Just counting the energies. Like, I need how many of these do I need? A mess ton? All right. I mean, he knows this is the last option here. Like, this is the player here. He's going to Archie's here, and then Alex has the option with that massive hand size to just or Corio for game next turn. He has to get this. This, this, this is the turn right here. If Azul hits this, this is the a Pokemon equivalent of the Doug Flutie Boston College Hail Mary. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. The only thing missing is uh, is an old school 80s cut off football jersey like right under the shoulder pads. I got one of those at home, don't you? Azul? Uh, do I? No. Azul <laughs> definitely a hundred percent. Azul Good Game definitely has one of those. No doubt about it. Given the most intense shuffle oh, leather. Oh man, I, I actually like. I want to see it pulled off. Like, I mean, you know, I, I would love I want, to see it. I one hundred percent want to see this pulled off here. I would love to this see it. This would take STLs like shenanigans last week. <laughs> and says, "Hey, sorry, man, you're going back to first base. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is my game." Here we go. Five cards. Do we see field blower? Field blower? What? Two uh, energy retrievals? Or sorry, two uh, superior energy retrievals? Yeah. Okay. Thumbing some energies to the top. Did he? No, no way. way. There's no way. Is this actually no going to happen way. here? Is this what do we got? Happen here? He's pulling oh, the please, hands away please, from the table. I want to see Shuffle it Shuffle him really quick. Come on. And he has a, he has a scoop just, so he has to take us in mind. Oh, order here pad. we go. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Order Let's pad. go. Let's go. Let's go. Off the table. Order pad. Come on. Keep on the table. Oh, Come on. Azul. He got the order pad. He got the order pad. He got the heads. He is moving quick now. Computer search He's moving quick No. This is not going to happen. No. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Dude, Alex has clenched his grip. He feels it coming. GoFundMe.com slash save Alex Shemansky. Oh, my gosh. No, so to come out to a let oh, – he, he has a field blower here. He has a let loose in hand as well. There's the field, field blower. blower. Step one. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you see, he didn't – oh, my gosh. Let's see. Oh, Does he have he, a, a prop egg. It's prop egg. So one superior is for sure in hand. This let loose is going to be big is what it sounds like. How many like. copies of Shaman oh, does he play? He has two Shamans. He has two Shamans. We're going for the Shaman play. Come on, all the cars on earth, please. Holy smokes. My heart is beating out of my chest. 
uh, Azul, good game. <laughs> Bringing Bro, it I'm, down I'm to the wire. I'm gripped. I'm gripped right shame. now. Here he we go. Has a shaman. Here we go. He needs to hit two superior energy retrievals. He has a choice man to attach also. He's going to attack. He's going to be able to. Oh, compressor too? We're thinning, boys. We're getting there. Get all this We're getting trash there. out of here. And get he that lab. Get that Articuno out of here. The Volcano. He has it all. He hasn't played a superior energy retrieval in this game. Alex is looking at this card. He's like, oh, no, no way. way. No, no way. way. This is, <laughs> this is going to happen. This could be the most ridiculous poster eyes I've ever seen in my entire life and Alex Jemanski has no say in how this turns out oh man the kid this played the game perfect Azul says uh Bon Jovi living on a prayer reference that you made yesterday <laughs> Azul just needs to thin as many cards as possible with this battle compressor it has to be three you don't do any less than three and if he towering splash GXs, he's going to take six prizes in no. this top eight. Oh, my gosh. This this is going to – this is huge. Oh so man. this Shaman is – is it good for six? Is it for six? It's going to be a clean six. He has Choice Band left. He's a clean six. Attach, so chas, attach a Choice Band, draw uh, his, six. No, he thinks he has Mars Shadow also in hand unless he Ultra Ball that away. He might have Ultra Ball away. Yeah, I think be, he did Ultra yeah, Ball, ball away. So he has, to, to get the Shaman. Choice, choice Band clean band in hand right now. Okay, so this Choice Band, he has to hit two superiors. If he hits two superiors oh, – he here it is. Here okay. it is. Draw six. Come on. Come Go. on. I can't see. Oh I can't my see. gosh. Come on. Help Come us on. get Ultra Ball. T-mail. T-mail. T -mail. That's another. T-mail superior. It's superior right there at the end. There wasn't one superior. Okay. Flicking through the cards. Flicking through the cards. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, come uh, on. I'm, I'm trying to check this list. Is, that, is there a rescue stretcher somewhere in here? Yeah. And, 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 and Azul? Yeah. No. Azul's no rescue stretcher. Okay. There's superior one. Superior one. Wait. Does he have the other one in hand? He got the one hand. Got the email. It's a, there's an order pad. There's it's a computer, computer search. search. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> he freaking did it. Oh. He freaking did it. Towering <laughs> splash. <laughs> DX taking the bench, clearing the bullpen. He took them all out. Oh my. He took them all oh out. My. Oh, my. <laughs> oh my god. Alex just oh, just falling victim to this. See, our PTTGO, this is where you see the game over side, but Alex this has is, to accept this. This. Is, this, is, this is STL. I'm sorry, kid. You got blown out of the water. Azul, good game. Coming through. Flip the GG. <laughs> Tower Express <laughs> for the game. What? This is six what? prizes. Bro, six give me that. Prizes. What? Heck what? Yes. All right. www.gofundme.com forward slash save Alex Shemansky. <laughs> Donate all you can. Bare hands and everything. The you kid needs help. Azul, how do you stop this man? That man. How do you stop this man? Threw the flood all on the board. Destroyed the whole bench. Took it down. Typhoon style. Whatever you want to call it, man. Hurricane and it, and it all started with order pad heads. <laughs> and you saw him shaking. Once it hit heads, he was field blower. Game was on. Azul, good game. We're grabbing for an interview right now. <laughs> get him while right, it's hot. We're, we're going to be right get back. Get him, get him right now. <laughs>
All right, so, okay, walk us through that last turn. I know what I saw. I know what everybody at home saw. What is going through your mind? <laughs> uh, I mean, I thought I had just lost when, when my opening hand was so bad. Um, and then I definitely thought I lost when he had the Guzma for the Shaman. I was like, okay, if I can get him to, like, KO the egg, um, uh, and maybe he can't find Guzma, and then, I, like, I have a turn or two after that because he can't just one-shot a Whale Lord. Um, but, uh, yeah, then uh, I top deck, or I, I got a turn of Shaman and got some cards, and then I set up my hand to literally be like, if I top deck a playable card, I can use the Archies, and then I have to hope to just GX from there, and then it happened. God, everything coming together. You were shaking. My heart feels like it's going to explode. <laughs> um, I have no idea what you're playing next round. You've got the bracket in front of you here. Uh, mirror match, mirror match. So, got the mirror match. Um, I don't even want to talk about that. How do you feel? You have to, that, that's like insane, right? <laughs> that's like. Is that's da -na -na. That's a sports center that's moment. Like the, I haven't had a – I don't know if I've ever had a moment like that in Pokemon, like that's a, this, that kind of sequence of draws ever. That, I'm glad um, I got to I'm – like, I'm like absorbing your energy. <laughs> like you seem great. You're radiant. Good color. Got to be excited. I don't know. You're, you're the man to beat now. I don't know, I don't know <laughs> how anybody can expect anything different from you. Azul, good game. Going to be facing Andy Gray in the mirror match next yep, round. Yep. Too easy, right? I mean, after that <laughs> series, like it can't it can't get more difficult than that. No, it, it can't certainly get more cannot. That. I'm comfortable in the mirror. I'm 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 ready for that. Yeah, for sure. And a couple confirmations. GX marker, hotel key. Yeah, hotel key. <laughs> Look good. Uh, towering splash, GX six prizes, most amount of uh, prizes possible off that attack. Yep, yep. Nailed that. Check that off the bucket list. <laughs> What's left for Azul Good Game today here in Greensboro? I mean, hopefully get a decent set against Andy, you know, win or lose. Uh, it's Archie's mirror. Archie's mirror can have its ups and its downs. Uh, hoping to just, like, draw hands where I get off the Archie's and then get to play the game and can make plays from there, and hopefully it's enough to carry me to the finals. So. Well, definitely made some good plays uh, in that top eight match. Top four coming down the pike. You got to go get ready. You got to go do whatever that was over <laughs> again. Azul, Kirk, we'll be right back. Top four action here in Greensboro.